Road in Perry tonight. Playoff season is here. The Lady Panthers are playing their first postseason games of the season right now, and they are facing North, North Springs as the games are playing in a double header. The Lady Panthers started off slow their first two weeks of the season, but quickly got back to their winning ways, finishing the regular season 17 and eight, only losing one regional matchup. One of the Lady Panthers' tougher battles was against the Veterans Warhawks earlier this season. Veterans will be hosting Appalachie Friday at four in the playoffs. There must be something in the water here in Houston County as four softball teams will be under the playoff lights this week, including Perry, Warner Robins, Veterans, and Houston County. The Lady Panthers and Spartans are playing the second game of the doubleheader right now. Perry won game one, 10 to two, and the Lady Panthers are dominating game two right now, 17 to one in the second, a big second inning as they let up and earned six runs for the Lady Panthers. The winning of the winner of this series takes the winner of the Jones County Eastside game. The Panthers aren't the only team playing tonight. Several other local teams are taking the postseason stage. Those updates later at 11. Fort Valley State took a big homecoming win last Saturday, and the Wildcats are looking to take their win streak to four. Head coach Sean Gibbs tells us. We're going to focus on us, you know, and that's every week. we got to make sure that we take Fort Valley State off the schedule, can't continue to beat ourselves, especially against an opponent like South Carolina State. So you're just working on us trying to do uh, the things that we do and master those things, get our guys to buy in and stay together through the good and the bad times. He says the homecoming win left something to be desired as head coach. He says the Wildcats let up too many points and left too many scoring opportunities out on the field. Gibbs isn't wrong. FVSU let up 13 unanswered points before getting on the board, but the shining moments weren't lost, including a 95-yard kick return by Dewan Bell. Coach Gibbs says doing the little things right will help fix the mistakes he saw in Wildcat Stadium Saturday, while letting the best parts improve at the same time. The Wildcats will be playing without the home field advantage this weekend in their road matchup at South Carolina State. FVSU will play that game at 2. That's all for your nightly dose of sports at 6. More of the playoff action of softball and volleyball tonight at 11. Live in Perry, Sammy Costas, 13 WMAZ Sports.